So I've started to paint this guy and the paint scheme I'm going to go with is kind of a, a bluish gray t uh, tone. So for this area right here, I've already painted it with uh, Alclad Super Bright Silver. And over that, I've gone with the Alclad Enamel Electric Blue. Now, what happens now is this piece for the um, eyes or the head, head lens is going to clash with this blue. So what I need to do now is I'm going to make a cast of this and cast this in the clear so I could tint it uh, the same electric blue. Now first step in resin casting is to make a mold of this. So I have a Lego uh, Lego block. Put that in here. Now this will fit nicely in here for casting. And before I do that, I'm going to add some Play-Doh. This will act as kind of a, a bottom part to my mold, so to speak. So I'll just add a small amount, shove that in there. Take another piece of Lego and flatten that out. So it's nice and flat. Now all I have to do is take this piece and drop it in here and just kind of mush it in here. Now this does two things. This creates kind of a, a negative mold for when I cast the or for when I make the second half of the mold. Um, the first top, uh, this is going to be a two-part mold, so it's easier to work with. I get uh, split it in half to uh, pull the piece, pull the pieces, and to pour the resin. So now that I have this ready. I could go ahead and mix some silicone. And usually the silicone I use is just this stuff. I think I believe the shore weight is uh, two uh, twenty. So this this stuff is mixed 10% um, to you know 90% this or whatever weight this is mixed by weight so whatever whatever weight I have of this I add 10% of that of this this will make sense when I do this so I have my scale a trusty plastic cup turn on my scale and I'm just going to pour a small amount because this is a very, very small area. So resin is going to be kind of thick. Pour a small amount. Maybe a little bit more. So right now I have about 10 grams of this stuff, which is perfect for measuring. Since I only have to pour in one gram of the hardener, or actually for this, I only have to pour in one gram of the catalyst. Now I gotta shake this up nicely. And carefully pour my callus in. So I went a little over but it's not that big of a deal. Drop that in there. Clean off my bottle and mix this up. 
And you want to get the sides because you want this minty green goodness all mixed up nicely. And this will help promote uh, a better mold. Now what happens here is I'm introducing air bubbles in here and since I'm going to use a pressure pot to cure this I'm not too concerned about the air bubbles but since this does take a little bit of time to cure up I believe this takes uh, eight hours or so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this into my pressure pot after I, after I mix this so that I pressurize and get rid of most of the bubbles at you know before I even pour this over um, my, my mold here so you see that there's bubbles coming up because you know I'm here mixing this I'm going to go and put this in my pressure pot. Okay, this has had some time in the pressure pot. Now I'm ready to pour this. You see the bubbles are mostly gone. And I could just scrape this and pour this into my mold here. And this is going to be put back into a pressure pot. It's been several hours, about eight hours or so, since uh, this is hardened up. <clears throat> I just pop this off of my Lego assembly and take it apart. And pop this guy out like so. And now I just have to remove this. Play-Doh. I see that it's nicely um, seated in here. So I'm just going to go and wash this off and clean this up and get ready for the second half of this mold. So this part has been cleaned off of the Play-Doh. So it's nice and clean. What I'm going to do now is apply the second piece. So I'm going to build my box back together I'm going to open up this side so I could get at this what I'm going to do next is <clears throat> using some Vaseline I'm going to lightly coat a little bit of silicone here like so keeping the back piece clean so what this does is the silicone will ad attach to itself um, pretty well and this will keep it from attaching here so that once I'm done I could crack it open pull it apart and use that as a method of casting that way I don't have to worry about um, which side is which when I'm putting the mold together so this is a pseudo clamshell style uh, mold. <clears throat> now that that's done, I can put this back together. Grab my scale cup. Turn on the scale. Pour some silicone.
So this is nicely mixed together. There's a little bit of air bubbles, but since there are no undercuts for this piece, I'm not too worried about bubbles getting trapped under and not being able to be pushed out by the pressure. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this in here without pressurizing this first. <clears throat> And leaving whatever I have left in the plastic cup will tell me when this stuff is actually solidified. So I could check back in a couple hours and see if this is uh, cured up. If this is cured up, I know that in my if this is cured up, I know that in my pressure pot, this is cured up. So this has had some time to cure, so I can pop it out. And let's just get this piece done. And there I have my mold. So I can pop this guy out, my master. And this is my mold. Now, I could go ahead and start casting, but what I want to do is I want to spray some mold release on this first before. I, and, and then heat this up a little bit. The heat activates the mold release, so, and it helps um, with the casting process. So now that my mold has been heated up, it's ready for resin casting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast two parts of uh, clear resin, uh, nine or 10 part to nine part. So this, I'm gonna, Throw 10 parts of this down first. So I have six now. So what I need to add here is about five and a half parts. So let's do that. That should be all right. I'm just gonna mix this up now. Now, as I'm mixing this up, I have a couple of minutes, couple of minutes to work with this. So, as you mix, as as you mix this up, it's gonna feel a little bit. Um, it it should warm up. I'm not too worried about the little bubbles in here because I'm, I'm going to be pressure casting this. Once this is done, I can throw it into my mold. Like so. What I usually like to do is squeeze the mold a little bit to get all the bubbles for all the undercuts out. So basically coat the entire mold as much as possible and fill it with more resin and just let it sit like that. And then I could go ahead and pressure, throw this into a pressure pot. This is my resin casted uh, eyepiece. So it's been a couple hours. Let me take this guy out and see how I did.
and this is my copy. Not too bad. Now I can go ahead and paint this whatever clear color I want. And that's that.